4th of July weekend is already a big day for law enforcement. We always have incidences, that's why we're here. But with so many lighting off fireworks on their own this year, West Michigan authorities say it was a heavy day for caller complaints. Even before 4th of July, I think uh, the increase we saw was 530% of complaints coming in over previous years. And there's a lot of reasons for it. People wanted to get out, people wanted to do something because of what we've been seeing recently with the pandemic. Between the hours of 9 and 11.45 p.m. on Saturday, Grand Rapids Police Department says there were 42 routine complaints on fireworks and 10 additional calls for issues regarding public safety. Someone uh, pointing the fireworks at a driving car or maybe people blocking a drive. Uh, a drive or a street. As hours continued from 11.45 p.m. to 6 a.m., the number of routine complaints hit 67, with 11 additional calls for safety concerns. While Kent County Sheriff's Office says the number of calls they received were similar to years past, Sheriff Michelle LaJoy Young says it was the nature of reports that was unique. We did have a number of fire calls that came into our dispatch center related to um, where fireworks weren't fully extinguished and they were disposed of a couple dumpster fires. While both enforcement agencies say fireworks can be fun to celebrate with when allowed, they're now urging neighbors to obey the restrictions that went into effect this morning. Not only are fireworks a nuisance outside of the celebratory ones like this past weekend, but they also can affect some people, emotionally in fact sometimes, like some of our uh, military veterans. So we just assume people just hold off till Labor Day and we can do them legally again. Firework violators could face a $1,000 fine and up to a misdemeanor charge. In Grand Rapids, Kylie Ambu, 13 on your side.